hello hello my darlings welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name's sophie and today we're going to be continuing work on my island ichigo which is our little strawberry farm core japanese island um we are just going to pick up right where we left off last time with our little cul-de-sac um lots of you get great suggestions of some changes i could make to here since i wasn't so sure on like these flower patches and this tree i haven't gone and made any of the changes yet but i really appreciate all the suggestions i'm getting on this island so we are literally going right up the stairs from where we left off oh hi flick flick is here and he's angry he has not forgotten how last time i uh trapped him in a box he is still angry about that <laughs> But yeah, we're basically gonna work on all of this, which right now it's nothing. It's just a cliff and then it ends. Um, but let me show you my map. We're basically right in the middle of the island. I think my vision is to do just a big old sunken waterfall. We're gonna have like a big round, just like circle shaped cliff with water in the middle. And then I want it to be like when you're standing right here, you will be able to kind of look across. So like this whole area down here is gonna be filled in with water. And then I want you to be able to look across and you're going to see houses. We still need to place Lolly and Lily. Um, there are last two houses and they kind of match each other. And I thought it would just be cute to, yeah, do like this big elaborate uh, terraforming build uh, for them. So far, all the houses on this island have been very town core. Like we have this cul-de-sac and then all the other houses are in like a big neighborhood area, um, which is not what I normally do. I'm used to doing very crazy, heavy terraforming. So I, I wanted to at least do a little bit of that. But yeah, I don't think I will ever, ever be able to do an island that is like 100% like structured town core or city core. I've got to have, I've got to have some sort of terraforming. That's just what I do. Also, I'm going to turn the map on while I'm terraforming, just so I have an idea of how far back I am. But yeah, realistically, this shouldn't be too huge. I'm trying to see like, okay how far we can kind of see like the edges of those weeds so i want to start by just like building cliffs back here just to see okay if we want to be able to see the houses in the distance i want to make sure that i'm not making this pond too big or too small i think that generally i tend towards going way too huge and then it's like not going to be visible oftentimes when i try to do these cool lookouts they're too massive um and you can't see the edge so here's this, let me grab a little ladder set up. I'm gonna get so sick of having to <laughs> get out my ladder. So we're just gonna place a ladder here temporarily. Okay, yeah, so we can see the cliff here. And if I pan up, I think we'll just be able to see the houses. Um, so I think I'm gonna make the cliff come down at least one more, if not two more, honestly. Looking at this, this is a pretty, this is gonna be a pretty sizable pond. So we're gonna make it come down two more. And then I think putting the houses, especially cause we're not gonna want the houses right on the edge. That's something to consider too. Okay, so I extended this down and then I think temporarily um, I'm gonna place a tall item. We're just gonna do this antique wardrobe. And I think that this is a little shorter than the houses are, I'm pretty sure, but this should get us a vague idea of how much we can actually see. Okay, so looking at this, I feel like the houses are gonna be not, I think I need to make this way smaller. See, this is what I was saying. I feel like this feels so tiny, but realistically, you don't need that much water. Even just a small little three by three pond, we're still gonna be able to see like all the waterfalls and stuff. So I don't want this getting too huge and out of hand. I definitely want this to look really, really good. I want the houses to be visible from a distance. Um, just because if you guys saw my entrance build for my Fall Elegant Island Ginkgo, that one I kind of made way too big. Like you can see down into the water, but you can't really see what's on the cliffs across the water. It was like way too huge. But I think this might be a good distance. Um, I think this might be yeah a good a good a good distance away i think now i'm just gonna like rough outline some cliffs here 
I love that Midge is also here in the background. She has been in the background of every video without fail. I guess she's just the mascot of this island. Okay, I think this is honestly plenty huge for a sunken lake. And then let's see, once I fill in the cliffs, like you can imagine that being more of like a thick donut shape, that's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be pretty sizable. Um, so I think that's gonna look really good. Cause yeah, this cliff can go to the edge of where we put this and then it'll extend. I'm not gonna extend it all the way this far, but yeah, I am gonna make this cliff pretty big at some point. So but yeah, I think this looks good. I think that the first thing I should do is try to place a house and make sure that it actually looks good and it's not like totally wrong. So let's see, maybe, okay, I don't want it that close to the edge. I want there to be room to waterscape. I also, something I want to do is I want there to be room. I would really like to have a bridge in between the two houses and I don't know if that's going to be a little too difficult but let me just see here i think i should start by putting in a big waterfall that should probably be where i start put in a waterfall or, or a river i guess um to visualize where a bridge would go and then i'll have to place the houses kind of around that Okay, so we now basically have a giant donut shape on my map here. I just filled in all the cliffs, which yes, I did it with my modding. So then it put the weeds on top, which is annoying. So I'm gonna have to pick all those, but oh well. And yeah, I just mapped out a little river right here and then houses on either side. I hope these are gonna be like, good locations. Let me like put these little wardrobes here. Get these weeds out of my way. Let's just see how this is going to look. Why did that not place the way I wanted? There we go. Okay. And then, so looking from over here. Okay. Yeah. It, it looks like we should just be able to see the houses on either side. I think that'll look good. I can maybe bring the houses one closer. They're kind of far back. So I'll maybe end up placing them more like, yeah, one more tile ahead of where they are. I think that should hopefully look good. And then, yeah, we'll have a bridge here. And then I wasn't sure if I just wanted this to spill off the back or I may be thinking of doing like a big third tier cliff and then having the river kind of go up there. So it's like a cascading waterfall. Also, if I could, I would love to have the houses like over, like a little closer, but I don't know if it's gonna let me put a house that close to a bridge. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, but I think this is a good shape and size to start. Um, so let's go, let's go place a bridge and a house and see what we can do here. Okay, super cute. That looks adorable. Okay, so I want the house for sure one forward. I'm hoping I can move it a little closer to the bridge. Oh my God, perfect. This is like exactly what I was imagining. Oh, is that gonna be so cute? I think that's gonna be super cute. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then I can move ahead a day and then get Lolly's house moved in. Um, okay, so we have our houses in place. Lolly is very happy, it seems, about her new home. I think this is so cute. Okay, so let's go look at it from across here. So in our normal camera angle, we can kind of see all the houses. I think if we do this little pan up thingy. Okay, yeah, now we can see them perfectly. So this is exactly what I was hoping for. We can totally see them. And you can also tell I went ahead and put in some more cliffs for a third level, like I was discussing. Um, so yeah, now we've done the bulk of the terraforming. Um, at least like just the the basic part of it like the houses are there we have the basic shape of the cliffs 
now it's time for the fun stuff, making everything cute. Start by rounding out these little clips. I never like to leave really rough edges, unless if I know that it's like behind a building and you're not gonna see it. And let's clear away this dirt path. I've never done this before, having a bridge like right next to where the houses are. It's honestly really cute. Like I usually give my houses really big yards and they're usually never this close to structures. So I'm kind of digging this, this is super duper cute. Okay, and then I do unfortunately need to pick all these weeds. I don't want those here. All right, so that's all cleaned up. Now I basically need to get the actual sunken part built. So I'm gonna start shaping up the cliffs, keeping in mind that I'm going to want to, yeah, I have lots of waterfalls. So we could have a little corner waterfall there. So let's see, we'll do a little piece here on the corner. And I don't want it too symmetrical. That's something I need to consider too. I want it to look very natural and have a lot of like shaping and curves to it. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, so that's cute there. And then let's see, maybe bring this edge down and then have a little two tile waterfall on this side. Yeah, or even just one. I'm thinking I'm gonna wanna extend the water out. So like, this will be a little river that pours down to whatever goes back here. This is that area that I was like uncertain about before um, in my last video. It's like kind of where this little back pathway leads. And then we've got another path here. And then I guess I'm gonna end up having some water. Um, I was gonna put in a cliff here though for some shops. So we'll see how this ends up all fitting together. It might get a little cramped. Um, but yeah, and then I could have a cute little windy, twisty river moment. I might want to connect these two together and make kind of like this little rounded moment. Okay, this is super cute. And I think there's enough room. I can put a tree here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we need... Okay, we have to get a tree planted here because that's so stinking cute. Okay, I'm obsessed with that. That's so cute. Uh, oh, that's something I really love with sunken builds. I don't like just having like, like if I just had this waterfall and then it ended, I don't like that. I always like to have my waterfalls connect either to like a bigger river or a bigger pond or yeah they'll connect to each other like here yeah I, I ended up connecting these two little separate waterfalls into one and it's gonna make this cute little uh kind of like river lake moment not really a lake it's just more of like a pond but this is so cute and then i'm gonna here smooth it out and then yeah there's room i could fill in a whole bunch more trees in here Oh, this is gonna be so cute. I might make this cliff a little bit smaller just cause yeah, I don't know what's going down below here. And I wanna make sure there's plenty of space. And now let's get this side figured out. Let me see. So I don't wanna do the exact same thing over here. Um, so I won't do that little corner thing. I think maybe I will bring this all the way over and then fill it in like this. I could have like one, two right here. So just like this. And then I'll have this loop around. Lolly, you are literally singing and happy if you're about to ask me to move. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just moved her house, building her this gorgeous front yard. She was all happy and now she's freaking asking to leave. Fall off the cliff. Get off here. You don't deserve this. <laughs> These ungrateful villagers. I can't. I don't like this. I don't like having those itty bitty little edges. That just irritates me so freaking much. Oh my God, I'm struggling to terraform right now. I think I'll have it go like 
piece like that I think that'll look cute can I okay yeah good I was like can I put something there I don't like having yeah those little rough skinny edges I'd rather have this where it's like two pieces and then I can actually like put flowers or something in there I think it looks so much better and let's round this edge because right now it's just this huge straight line across like from the river to the cliff so this is gonna look a little better if I round it out like that maybe bring this down one more make this a little thicker since that's a single tire wa tile waterfall and then this can be three tiles it'll look really good lots of variety I love that she's literally back to dancing already so rude okay instead of the three tile I'm actually gonna do two so then I can have one of these little curved waterfalls like that, but over here. So I was thinking of putting a waterfall along this edge where you're gonna like stand to see everything, but I don't think that's gonna look good. So we'll do this. Okay, this looks really cute. Yeah, I kind of wanted this to be a straight edge. See our little lookout spot. All right, just want to fix this little waterfall up a bit. Okay, I think this looks pretty cute. Let's see how it looks on the map, actually. I haven't checked that. I think it looks pretty cute. Let me move over a little more. I can't really see. Yeah, that looks fine to me. And once it's filled in with water all inside, it's going to look a lot more obvious. <gasps> I wonder if I could connect this little river with here. And then have a diagonal bridge. Ooh, <gasps> that'd be so good. I love me a diagonal bridge. Lolly looks like so concerned. Like, why are you trapping me in here? Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. Ooh, is this gonna work? Is that big enough? Okay, diagonal paths or, or bridges are so hard. Okay, one, two. Okay, perfect. This should be just wide enough on this side for a diagonal bridge. And of course she's going to be in the way. Of course she's going to be in the way. That would just be far too easy. It'd be far too easy to do this if she weren't. Let's see. Okay, girly, you've got to move. You are cute, but you've got to move. <laughs> she looks so done. Oh my god. Oh, and she went right back where she was. You always have to make the water... I feel like it has to be so huge for a diagonal bridge. I don't think this is thick enough. Of course, I'm going to need to get a bridge setup kit to be sure, but... God, you're in the way! <laughs> she looks so unhappy! Oh god, okay, yeah, I think I'll get a bridge kit, but I'm pretty sure that's not thick enough. I think I need it to be a little bit wider. It's so much easier for me to visualize just like a regular up and down or left and right bridge. Yeah, no, it's not thick enough. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, perfect. There we go. Let me imagine it. Oh my freaking God. That is the cutest little baby bridge I've ever seen. <laughs> It's gonna be so cute. Also, just for reference, I am putting that blue iron bridge. I am going to do a mod to recolor it to be pastel pink though. Um, oh damn it, I need more money. Yeah, I actually have quite a few recoloring mods that I wanna do myself. Um, and I just haven't gotten around to them. I was actually originally going to film my shopping center today, um, like nooks and ables and all of that, but I want to recolor the buildings to kind of match the pink and uh, in a pink and green and you know natural aesthetic that I'm going for so yeah and I knew it was gonna take way too long to get them recolored before I was you know if I if I did the recolors today I wouldn't have time to film and I really wanted to film today so I'm gonna do that build another day she is so in the way so in the way I can't with her okay yeah now I should be able to do that so it looks a little better and that's looking super duper cute and then we need to get this filled in here and then i'll probably jump ahead of tomorrow 
this is looking so stinking cute oh my goodness okay so i think we're <laughs> lolly is just she's going through it today she's really going through it all right let's move ahead to the next day all right before we continue with any more building on this island i want to take a quick break to thank today's sponsors so i want to give a big thank you to tokyo treat and sakura co for sponsoring today's video if you're not familiar with them tokyo treat and sakura co are these treat subscription boxes that send you japanese snacks so you can enjoy uh the tastes and wonders of japan from the comfort of your own home so Tokyo Tree is more of a pop culture, kind of fun, quirky box. They've got really cute packaging always, lots of kawaii stuff. And Sakura Ko is your more kind of traditional vibe. Um, there's always tea included with every month and you also get a little piece of tableware. This month's was this adorable little plate with cherry blossoms and uh, little kitty cats on it, which is literally perfect for me. And it says Sakura Ko on the back. And speaking of cherry blossoms, every single month they do a fun theme and you can maybe tell from the overwhelming amount of pink here, this month's theme is all about cherry blossoms. So Tokyo Treats theme is Sakura Snacktastic, while Sakura Co's theme is Beauty of Sakura. So we're going all out on the cherry blossoms this month. Everything's pink, everything's adorable, I'm so excited. And they always send you these booklets, which have lots of cool information in them. They have um, little like fun cultural tidbits. Like this month, they talked about different types of cherry blossoms, where you can go to see them. Um, there were some anime recommendations. It also, of course, tells you everything that you're getting in the boxes, what sort of allergens are in them. So if you have any food allergies, you can look into that. So it's really, really wonderful. Um, they have all sorts of great information in them. I always love looking through these. And everything in these boxes are always so delicious. Um, so as I said, this month is all about cherry blossoms. So we have lots of great treats that are perfect for cherry blossom season. We've got some matcha latte Kit Kats. Okay, I've had green tea Kit Kats in the US before, but these are like next level. Like these actually taste like real matcha. I feel like the green tea ones that I found at like other stores, they're just like more of a fake green tea flavor. This literally tastes like matcha powder in here. The tea included with this Mansakra Co box was a cherry blossom tea that actually had a little cherry blossom flower in it, which is so cute. And there was of course Sakura Mochi, um, Sakura Arare, all sorts of just adorable pink themed things. Oh my gosh, it even smells good. I literally want a perfume that smells like this. Oh my God, this is so good. I think this is honestly the cutest set of boxes I received. They've all been adorable, but I'm a little biased. I love pink things. I love cherry blossom things. So this was such a fun set to receive. The boxes themselves are absolutely gorgeous. They're both pink this month. And that's something I haven't really mentioned. The boxes themselves are really nice. Like they're really well made and I've pretty much kept all of my boxes that I've gotten. They're really handy for like storage or even decoration. Like this Sakura Co box is so pretty. I'm absolutely gonna use this. Like either use it somewhere like in my setup or like maybe set plushies up on it. Like to like a little riser on my bookshelf. Like it is too pretty to just get rid of. Like they're so nice. So. These are just wonderful little keepsakes, whether it's for yourself or as a gift to someone else. And everything in them is so delicious. So if you're interested in getting either of this month's Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co box, which I highly recommend because look how cute this is. I'm guessing if you're watching my videos, you enjoy pink things. So hello, this is the box for you or a friend or both, you know? why not do a little extra treating yourself but yeah you can go ahead and scroll down to the description of this video i have some links that you can use that you can buy either of these with and when you check out you can type in the code peachy and you'll get five dollars off your very first box so it's a great deal it's so much fun i seriously seriously recommend this you will not be disappointed it's such a fun treat i pretty much always keep all of my treats i get at my desk and so when i'm sitting here either working from home or decorating my island or filming for youtube whatever i'm doing up here i just have lots of treats on hand and it's honestly made my days so much more exciting um 
it's sometimes hard to like treat yourself and make every day feel special and this has been so wonderful just getting to try all sorts of new things kind of push myself outside my comfort zone get to experience things that i normally wouldn't get to eat it's just so wonderful i super recommend it and again a big thank you to tokyo treat and soccer co for sponsoring this video now back to some animal crossing yeah okay so um and thank god lolly is in her house out of the way where i would prefer who to, her to stay this is so stinking cute i just love waterscaping i love waterscaping i love terraforming so a little while i work on this um and then i'm gonna start doing pathing i think while i do all this pathing and stuff maybe i can let you in on some some hot gossip um i already have my next island theme picked out um, I, I've actually had it picked out for like a week or two now. I'm really, really excited about it. I don't want to really give any hints, but it's basically going to be very heavily terraformed. Um, as you can see with what I've done so far on Ichigo, it's been pretty like open and flat and like lots of like street codes. I'm doing basically the exact opposite for my next island. It's going to be very very heavy on the terraforming um very windy twisty um very natural like i'm not going to be using like a normal street code or anything like that um i want the path to come all the way up to the edge i don't think i do actually maybe i'm gonna mess around a bit but yeah i'm so excited for my next theme i think you all are really gonna like it if you're enjoying this island i think you're definitely gonna enjoy the next theme it's it's not similar at all, but like, I'll say the color scheme is going to be similar. It's going to be a lot of pink and um, it, it's going to be kind of like uh, very springy. I think it'll also be cherry blossom season. So there's going to be a lot of pink. I think I'll also do a lot of like green, yellow, those kinds of colors. Um, it's going to be so stinking cute. Okay, I'm not doing the pathing path right here. <laughs> I'm not laying this down at all. Um, correctly. I forget that this one has like inner corners. Okay, there we go. But yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so freaking excited to uh, eventually start work on that island. Um, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I think you're all gonna really, really enjoy it. And I feel like it's it's a theme I've kind of had in my mind for a long time, but I wasn't really sure how to execute it. Um, there's not really a lot of builds that I feel like you can do. Like with this island, there are so many build ideas. Like I have several different shops I want to do. I can obviously have a bunch of different farms. Um, I just had so many ideas with this next island. It's going to be kind of hard. Like I'm not really sure what the shops are going to be decorated as. Um, I don't really know like, oh, what's going to be next to res services? How is the museum going to look? Like that kind of stuff. I really don't know yet. But other than that, yeah, I have a pretty clear idea of what I want for uh, my next island and oh, it's gonna be so cute. I'd love to hear, I mean, I didn't really give any uh, hints other than, yeah, the color scheme and then, yeah, very natural pathing. That's all I'm really gonna say. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you wanna try and guess, I would love to hear your guesses. I thoroughly doubt anyone will be able to guess it though, because I feel like it's a theme that I've not really seen anyone do before. I think I won't have the path come around here. I think I'm just gonna make this area all like very natural. And I'll probably, yeah, break the cliffs down a bit, make it a little smaller. Okay, and then here, I want the path to split in two. Obviously, we'll have some going up this way to the houses but then i'll have another path going the other way i think i'm gonna probably actually end up putting my house near here somewhere like i'm thinking like you'll go across this bridge and then up this way and then i might have like a third level for my house um because yeah mine is just shoved on a beach right now or in the back it's somewhere it's not like officially placed yet yeah and we obviously still have a lot of work to do on this island but some of the builds are going to be pretty big like i'm planning on uh having just a giant like farm area by resident services so once i do that that's gonna be 
that's gonna be like a very large portion of the island that gets finished in one build. Um, and it should be pretty quick because it's literally just gonna be like dirt and crops. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna give one more little sneaky hint. I have the name picked out. I'm not gonna tell you, but I will say the first letter is T. That's all you're getting. It's something that starts with the letter T. Um, so if you wanna try and guess what the heck the island name could be. Um, so yeah, I like being, I like being mysterious. So <laughs> try it, try and guess based on those incredibly vague uh, hints what I'm gonna do next. I'm not sure if I want to bring this river like down here. I might. I think that might be really cute. I'm not positive what's really going to go over here. Like I don't totally want to commit to stuff yet, but I just like having all of my waterways really connected. I hate when you just have like a random pond that doesn't connect anywhere else. But I think this will be nice. Okay, so... I think so. This is gonna be Lily's yard. I think I want to actually build her a little pond here <laughs> on the topic of waterscaping. She does have a good amount of like space here. I think a little, a little. This is Lily, right? Okay, good. I was like, oh my god, did I mix them up? I think just like a cute little lake here will be really cute. I can put some of the little like um, froggy, what is that called? The karopi snack. Okay, I guess that's not going there. <laughs> All right, so we'll do it like that. That's cute. I love it. This is so fun. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put a tree there. Who am I kidding? How cute is this? Oh, this is so cute. Okay, okay. So let's see. Let's get some trees in now. All right, and then let's fill in some bushes, and then maybe start thinking about furniture. Um, they're not really gonna have big yards. I'm um, gonna be pretty simple. I'm thinking for Lily, I want like a little bench here, or I don't know if I wanna do a swinging bench or what, but I want definitely like a little two seater right here because there's plenty of room for that. Okay, so we're gonna give her a little bench, and then I was too freaking lazy to go customize my own cushion. <laughs> So I'm just using a mom's cushion. And then I was thinking doing the karopi tray. Hello, karopi tray. Bro, there is room right here. Thank you. Karopi tray and a little tea set so she can go sit by her pond and enjoy her little tea. Yeah, I have literally one singular piece of fence. <laughs> Let's just use that. That's fine. Lots of green and white around Lily's house. I think that would make the most sense. Okay, I like don't use pansies ever. Let's use a pansy or two. And then let's fill in. Honestly, the rest of this might just be filled in with glowing moss. I feel like that's my go-to for a pond is just surround it with glowing moss. <laughs> okay, very cute, very simple works really nicely all right so that's pretty much good for lily's yard let's go check out lolly's oh my god midge our obnoxious queen always in my way okay that's looking so cute okay i haven't really like ever used this wooden block bench I think that might be cute though with all the wood tones going on over here. And we'll do a little tiny library here. Be like her little mailbox. Very cute. And then yeah, let's just kind of fill the rest in with flowers. I mean, since Lolly is a cat, I think we have to use some of those little cat items here too. Astok. Astok. I can't not to move. I didn't really finish up here either. I kind of just put this in. I really want to do like a big and a rounded moment here. 
And then yeah, I guess it'll just kind of spill off the edge. That'll be our little waterfall in the back here. And like I've said before, I don't know where this is going. I don't know how this is gonna connect to like other builds I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work. Obviously I'll later come in and like smooth out these cliffs as I figure out what's gonna go up here, but figured for now I could at least clean up that and then put in like a tree or two. I think yeah, having some trees up behind all these houses will be really cute. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely decorate up on those cliffs another time. That's not like the most pressing part of this build. Okay, yeah, let's get a little tree here. I'm not gonna fill in everything because obviously there's gonna be builds going all over around this, but wanted to do some stuff okay and then let's start putting in some of these little cats hiding all over how cute okay so this one's hiding like back here and then let's see who else oh oh this one's napping maybe this one should nap under the tree you taking a nap oh <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. Cute. Oh, I love it. I love the little, little kitties. Oh my God, hold on. I just had the cutest idea ever. Hold on, y'all aren't ready for this. Y'all are not ready for what I'm about to do. <laughs> oh, this is the best idea I've ever had in my life. I've peaked, I've peaked with Animal Crossing decorating. I will never do anything better than this. They're having a picnic. <laughs> They're having a little picnic. They're in love. They're having a little kitty picnic. <laughs> oh, this is, the, this is the best idea I've ever had in my life. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> it's too cute, it's too much. All right, let's just slap down some more flowers and call this good. I mean, it's more than good. It's great. It's perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted in my life. Oh my god, this is too precious. So uh, I could cry. All right, so we're all done with this build now. Let's go do our final walkthrough. Oh my goodness. Okay. And up so we get the best angle. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I'm obsessed with this. I love the little bridge and the houses that are all matchy. I'm obsessed with my little cat picnic I did. I think that's so precious. And I basically just filled in lots and lots of flowers and trees. Oop, I missed a spot. I missed a spot. Okay, now we're good. I am just so obsessed with how colorful this is. I love all the little sleepy kitties everywhere. So cute. And so Miss Lolly here, ungrateful little jerk who keeps wanting to leave. Got a very cute house, even though she doesn't totally deserve it. With a little kitty cat picnic spot and a little area to sit down and read under the trees. And then right across the bridge, which I'm not sure what's going to go up on that cliff. I don't think a tree is going to... I could put a tree up there, but it's not going to be symmetrical. And that's going to drive me insane. So once again, I have to think of like a nice big item I could put up there. And on this side is Lily's little pond moment. Which I just realized I meant to do more of the karaoke snacks. Not just like in the water. So let me just... I still have two in my pocket. So let me just like... Actually, I think one can fit right here. Okay, yeah, here we go. So we got some extra karaoke snacks. And it's just very filled in. This can look really cute at nighttime. It's gonna be so glowy. 
I think this build turned out so freaking adorable and it looks great on the map. It's right in the middle, which is really, really pretty because um, so far this island's been very flat and not had much landscaping. So I definitely wanted to have at least one build that's like very heavily terraformed and fun to run around. And this is just making me so stinking happy. So if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. I'm going to have many, many more videos from this island. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Stay peachy.